We're leaving our humble little uh, Tokyo home and uh, we're heading to the train station. So we're kind of winging this because we don't really know what we're doing. We're catching the train to Hokkaido, the bullet train, uh, but we don't really know where we're going. But we have 30 minutes to figure it out. And actually I see a sign that says Shinkansen, and I think that's the train. I think that's the bullet train. So um, we're gonna head that way and bullet train time to Hokkaido Island. My favorite form of transportation is the train. And I've taken bullet trains before. First time I ever took a bullet train, actually I was 13 in Japan. And uh, this is amazing. I'm so excited for this. We're going all the way to Hokkaido on this train. And our journey in total today is gonna take us about eight hours. But the first leg is a bullet train from here in Tokyo to, uh, I guess, to the very, very bottom of Hokkaido. And I'm so excited. Not only for the train journey, but I'm kind of a little bit excited also to just sit in the train, open up the laptop and get some work done. Because I'm kind of behind on work again, as you and now you made it, but I already played this. Not interested. Open your eyes, let's get it done. Take my hand, just follow me. Shadow me, I won. Sky is on fire. The lake has turned to a golden sun. We just pulled into Hokuto, or I guess it's the main line near Hokuto. And then we get to change trains here to catch the line that heads towards Sapporo. And then actually, we're heading to the most random place ever today. I get the impression we're not prepared for this. <laughs> it's freezing cold right now. It's just so, so cold. But we're here. Whether you like it, like it or not, there is a moment meant for us. And now you made it, but I already played this. Train journey number two through the snow in a Hokkaido. Okay, so we made it, but we got one little quick stop. Um, we're heading to Murodan, which is just literally right there. But we're gonna take one train to get there. And like I said, we got uh, like a really, really quick stop. And then it's just right there. So let's get to the hotel. This is definitely a different place than Tokyo. <laughs> We are not in Kansas anymore, or Tokyo for that matter. We are like in the middle of rural Japan. This place is called Mor M Mudo Mudodan, 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 something like that. 
And the reason we came here is actually because we want to check out a place called Nobo Rietsu, which is like these crazy hot springs, I think, um, which aren't too far from here. But it was way too expensive to stay there, so we're staying in this random town instead. And it looks like it might actually work out in our favor because there actually looks like there might be some cool seascapes to be had here. So we're gonna wander down that way at sunset, which is in about a half an hour. So let's dump off our bags and then head down to the coast. So this is one of my favorite things in photography coming to a random town nobody's heard of, a place you've never seen before, have no expectations of, and trying to come away with some cool images. The sunset is happening in like 20 minutes. We just opened Google Maps and it looks like the waterfront's about a 15 minute walk away. So we're gonna race down to the waterfront and try to get some cool images. Whether we will or not, no idea. But I love the challenge and I love the randomness of this. So we're coming down to the waterfront here and it's kind of eerie because it reminds me of like a hundred different places. Kind of reminds me of like Vancouver Island 20 years ago. It also kind of reminds me of like Southern Chile and Patagonia. And there's shots to be had here. I just don't know if we have time to get them. Um, and we're also kind of the wrong time of day. There's this wicked cliff back that way that I think would be awesome for sunrise with some light hitting it, but it's backlit right now. So I don't know, I think we're gonna just walk down to the beach and see if maybe there's some rocks in the foreground or something to shoot. The light is stunning right now and I think it's just gonna get better. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll scout something out, get set up and maybe even put the drones up in the air. Tyler's got a Mavic. I've got the Mavic Air now in the bag. So yeah, maybe we'll do some flying. And actually there's a rock break up here. This rock break might be awesome. So yeah, let's get set up. What a strangely incredible place. When we got the train here on the edge of Hokkaido, it was just snow. There was like, I don't know, like a couple, three feet of snow. And now here there's no snow on a black sand beach with some driftwood. And this is crazy. It just seems like this adventure has been just insane over the past couple of months. Philippines, uh, the US road trip, Europe. And I kind of almost feel like I've lost my location at times and it doesn't make sense to me but in a really cool way, in a really good way. So this is a lot of fun. I'm having fun. In an almost all too typical way, the light's basically beautiful everywhere except for the way I wanna shoot. It's really nice that way. Look at those clouds just busting with light. But it's really backlit, so it's basically impossible to get a shot that way. Over this way, it's really nice as well, but there's just not a lot going on. There's like, I'm not sure what they are, factories or something that way. And this over here is what I wanna be shooting, this rock break. And it is coming out quite nice. I'm doing kind of a minimalist style shot with just the rocks leading off into the horizon. And it's coming out okay, not mind blowing, but again, it's fun. It's fun to kind of come out to a location you've never been to before and try to get something. And I think I got something. a shot that's great or phenomenal or anything like that. I had a lot of fun. I got the Mavic Air back up in the air and yeah, this was cool. Mm -hmm. 
but it's literally cool. We're freezing, like dead freezing. Two Canadians in Japan freezing. Uh, obviously I was in like the Philippines a couple days ago really and uh, this was totally different. Like a week ago I was in my shorts, shirtless, flip-flops, in the sea taking pictures. Today we're dying of cold so that's the life of a travel photographer sometimes. Hot, cold, changing time zones and it's all good. It's all fun. Love every minute of it. Are you dying Tyler? Oh, my hands are cold, but we got some pretty awesome shots. I'm really stoked to see uh, the shots from the drone, especially. Yeah, so good. And I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're going to head to Norobietsu tomorrow to try to find some hot springs. Warm up a little bit. I'll see you there. Peace.